Hey there, copycat here. Um, <coughs> I'm here to record a tutorial for you guys. Um, I've recorded a troll FL Studio tutorial before, but this time I think I want to give you something real, you know. Um, I have quite the extensive amount of knowledge on the subject, and I just wanted to help you out. Alright? So as you can see, over here we've got FL Studio. I uh, kind of want to open that up. We need to close that box. Don't worry, it normally makes that sound. You open it up. Alright, um, so you're going to see this window when you open it up. And what you're going to want to do is select your MIDI controller. Um, <clears throat> you can ignore these. Um, select your sound driver. I'm just using primary sound driver. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Add a directory. I guess I have a directory for like drums and stuff. So we're going to use my drum directory, which is uh, right over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is FL Studio um, 10.5. This is the beta release. And so you're going to notice some things first. Um, oh, this is nifty. Ah, <laughs> oh, look. See, <laughs> look at that. Fruity Loops 10.5. Huh. Wow, that's crazy. Alright, so it starts you off with some basic stuff. Um, okay, hold on just a second. Changing some things. Alright, um, you've got your trancy kick. Okay then, this does nothing. I forgot. Um, this is a trancy kick. Oh, yeah, it's a trancy kick. Okay, now we have different commands. Here's a playlist. Let's see, this is the playlist. Um, the playlist is where you're going to see everything you're going to use. Let's let's hear this song. All right, let's let's just play the song. <laughs> That's real fun. I like that. That's a that's a nice song. Um, I had a lot of fun listening to it. Um, so yeah, we are having a good time. Let's listen to the patterns. Oh yeah, that's good patterns. Interesting. Yeah, so as you can see, um, that's that. Now let's look at the uh, the effects. These are just you know the different effects and stuff. As you can see, um, FL Studio features a very nice features very nice VU meters and uh, effects buses. Um, it really lets you get down and dirty and customize everything pretty darn well. Um, as you can see, we've got on here band EQ. Um, sorry, I haven't used FL that much. So, I don't okay, now <clears throat> going to there we go. We're making some techno. We're going to uh, All right. Um, as you can see, we have a TS four oh four. 
uh, good scent. Yep. All right. Um, you can do this right here. I like that. And you can do more than that. Like I could go to channels, add one, and look at this. Look at all the stuff it has. Um, got TS404, 3X oscillators, personal favorite of mine. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. This is good. Yeah, it's good. Um, we're going to do something like that. Um, Let's go with that. Um, I'm going to add some sound effects from here. Get some voices. Bass. Bass. Yeah, bass. That's good. I like that they have that in here. See, they actually have a wide library that comes with it. So I could do the offset bass. Bass, 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 bass. It's good. Let's see that. Bass. Bass. I like that. You hear that? Bass. You know what that is? Base. That's base. 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 Yeah, let's go with that. Um, and let's get. This is gonna be for the intro. You'll see. Um, instruments. Grand piano. That's good. Look, we... Oh, it has a piano roll? Oh. I thought Ableton was the only doll that had that. It may sound weird, but it's a neo-romanticist movement in note placing. That's gonna sound good. All right. Um, let's do this. Going to have that as the intro. We'll see. And then it all comes together. Listen, listen to this. This is pretty good. You can make really banging beats on here. That's why I really love about it. Yeah, um, I think that about covers the abilities of FL Studio 10.5. They added a performance mode, but I can't find it. 